Welcome to the lesson Area Between Curves, which is the first lesson in Chapter 6, that is the applications of the definite integrals. Before we begin with the lesson, let's go through the learning objectives for this lesson. It is to find the area between two curves using definite integration and compute the area of a region using definite integration with y as a variable. We generally denote x as the variable, we solve x as the variable, but if we are taking the horizontal axis in consideration, then y will be the variable. We will learn about these in the coming videos. And the key words in this lesson is area between curves. This is the upper function, this is the lower function. You need to find the area between them. So before we start with the problems, let's quickly see what it means, area between curves. You have been given two functions, um, y is equal to f of x and y is equal to g of x. Now the function can be, you know, for example, the figure is over here. It can be anything. It's not definite object. If you have a definite object, we can easily find the area. If it's a square or a triangle or a rhombus, we can find using formulas. But over here, it's just a curve. But we know the function of the curve and over here, there's another curve. We need the area between these two. So this is the upper function. If we find, if we integrate, definite integrate means between the limits this function between the limits and subtract so it will be entire region isn't it and subtract whatever is this so basically now imagine you have this block you know uh, i'll shade this region so you know the area of this region you know the total area how would you find the remaining area so the total say it's 100 the total and the shaded is 50 how would you find this one then just subtract 100 minus 50 so 50 would be a simple one so i'll just take it as 60 okay so just for a uh, differentiation sake 60 is over here the shaded total is 100 how much is this 100 minus 60 will give you 40 similar to it it's not exactly the same thing because over here uh, it's entirely different the curves and everything but i'm just trying to make you understand when you find the definite integral of this function you get the entire area in this region but you subtract the lower function you will get the remaining area whatever is required so the formula is very very simple integral a to b upper function minus the lower function so this will be the formula please stay tuned for the common videos we will start solving problems using this formula the first example problem is very simple just to find the area between two curves very simple because the graphs are given now the equations are also mentioned over here find the area bounded by the graphs y equals 3 minus x and y equals x square minus 9 in the coming problems you won't have this graph so it is very very important for you to know the knowledge of the graphs Say, for example, the degree of x is 1. So this is a linear line. And since it's minus, you know, if it's only x, a function is only having uh, the highest degree of x, then it will be a straight line, something like this. But since it's minus, it will go downwards. It will be like this, downward line. Now, if it's x squared, it's a parabola. It will either go up when it's positive. It might be thin or anything. That is fine. Not the exact graph, just the basic knowledge. Whereas if it's minus x squared, then it will be like this. So this is the thing. Now, for this problem, the question is given. So it's very simple. The first step would be analyzing the graph. See which graph is above and which function is up above and which is below. And also find the points of intersection. It's at minus 4 and 3. So... This is over here from the graph, you can easily get it, but otherwise, how would you solve? The points of intersection between any two things would be by solving them both. That is equating them both. Equate them. When you equate this equation to this equation, you will find wherever it touches. Because you're equating these both, where are they same? Where are these two equations same? At this point, where it touches, they both are the same. 
and over here also they are same so that is what it means so anytime points of intersection is by equating now rearrange take this to the other side you will get x squared plus x and minus 12 this 3 becomes negative how do you solve it use your calculator directly more 5 and 3 and solve the coefficient before x squared is 1 before x is again 1 and lastly the constant is negative 12 the answer is 3 and minus 4 we have this graph so we can get the we can just double check the answers yes this is the intersection point substitute the values in the formula the formula over here is the upper function over here it's the pink one minus the lower function the blue one the upper function is given over here 3 minus x it's a linear and the lower function is the parabola function and now the limits are from minus 4 to 3 all you need to do is simplify this look over here you're multiplying this negative sign inside so minus x square becomes minus x square and 9 becomes positive 9 and then rearrange and write minus x square minus x plus 3 and plus 9 will be plus 1 now you, we know how to uh, integrate this this is definite integration we can directly do it in calculator but since this is the first problem i'll solve it in detail but henceforth after this problem i will use the calculator to directly solve you can use the law you, you can use the method to you know uh, by the formula method or the calculator method now here if you're using the formula remember when you integrate this power increases x cube divided by 3 minus sign remains same thing minus x to the power 1 plus 1 becomes x power 2 divided by 2 plus 12x the limits are minus 4 to 3 and now you are to just substitute the limits so always upper limit minus the lower limit so what it means is here instead of x you have to put everywhere the upper limit so look over here minus instead of x 3 cube divided by 3 minus 3 square by 3 plus 12 into 3 now the same thing minus the lower limit this minus remains and again remember to add the minus sign inside the bracket because it's minus 4 minus 4 the whole cube divided by 3 minus minus 4 the whole square divided by 2 plus 12 times minus 4 and put this everything in calculator you're gonna get this answer but if you want the direct answer from here i'll just show it anyways in calculator all you need to go is this is the default mode you can clear your calculator press this symbol over here definite integral symbol open the bracket and type this entire equation as it is minus alpha x squared minus alpha x plus 12 close the bracket it's from minus 4 to 3 and what is the answer it's 57.166 and so on so it is 17 so that you can directly solve from here or you can use the formula it's up to you this case the graph was given but let's see a problem without the graph and this is a little uh, different type because you know they're crossing the graphs are crossing so let's see this the graphs are given over here and they have told we need to solve for the limit 0 to 2 only that's the area we need uh, bounded between these limits now this these are the two equations looking at this you must understand that minus x square means it's something like this the graph i'm i'm not going for the accurate graph it's something like this that's it and if it's positive x squared it's something like this now this point and this point are the intersection point let me just uh, show you a graph over here like this but look over here what is the problem you don't need the entire graph so we it's from zero to two you know this is the graph somewhere you know over here and this will also go something like this so zero might be this and this is two okay so this is the part so from here zero to two that's the only the region which you want now i'm sure it's very hard even i would find it hard to understand exactly how to draw this graph and all you don't need this graph in your exam you can directly do even without the graph this is just for your understanding 
but the basic thing is very very important which is the upper graph how would you know that it's very simple just see whatever i drew just now like this right so this would be minus so always remember this is going to be the upper graph agree why because we have minus and it goes downwards but look at the upper function that's going to be up and which will be the lower function this one but since they have told this cross eventually the upper function will change that we will see in a while so upper function till this particular point where it intersects then you can change the other two functions the lower becomes upper upper becomes lower we will see while solving the problem you will understand the step one was about the graph you can do it even without the graph so don't worry but the points of intersection is very very important so now how do we do it we just equate these two equations equated 2 minus x squared equals x squared now what you do is take everything to other side and make it equal to 0 at one side so you will get taking this to the other side will be x squared plus x squared that is 2x squared and now when you simplify it will be okay now here you're not using the calculator method but you can use the calculator method and you'll get the same answer it's very simple over here so that's why you're dividing both the sides by 2 you'll get 1 is equal to x squared so what is the value of x it's plus or minus 1 but here you're discarding the left minus 1 why look the limit they want is just from 0 to 2 so which is the point of intersection it's somewhere at 1 so now when i draw the rough graph see over here this one and something like this i know this but i don't want the left side point of intersection this intersection is not required why it's minus one and this is one so i know now these are the points of intersection so let me draw a straight line let me consider this as zero and this as two now i can get a better understanding of the graph because i have the points of intersection and i know the limits now the upper function over here this is the upper function initially minus the lower function but then after one change it up this lower function becomes upper and the uh, upper becomes lower let's let's solve one by one again now over here only plus one is considered why because it's within the limit now the limits needs to be split let me tell you what it means the limit needs to be split because there's the change. See, this upper function does not remain upper all the time. So, till over here, you have to use the formula once. And then again, you have to use the formula. I'll repeat. From 0 to 1, integral from 0 to 1, the upper function is the pink one. That is 2 minus x squared. So, let me write it over here, see. From 0 to 1, the upper function is 2 minus x squared minus the lower function that is x squared. But then you need to add the next part as well because from 1 to 2, you can see away from 1 to 2, 0, 1, 2, the upper function is x squared and then the lower function is 2 minus x squared. So now I told you you can do this without graph, right? I mean not the exact graph but you need to know the basic understanding so from the understanding you will come to know something like this in the right side you know it starts with upper and lower so upper function lower function okay write it but which is the limit only until 0 to 1 and then you need to swap it the lower becomes upper and upper becomes lower for the remaining part that is from 1 to where where is the end point to 2 so you start with 0, so you start with 0 and end with 2. But in the middle, the intersection limits are there and these two will be changed. So this is the thing about this. Now, once you understand this, then it's very straightforward. Just put, put the entire thing in the calculator. That's it. So this is the option. It will be use the brackets appropriately. Make sure you're writing it properly to minus alpha x squared close the bracket minus again alpha x sorry 
alpha x squared okay now i've not used brackets over here because you know it's fine but it's better to use uh proper brackets even if i add this i will never get the wrong answer though so zero to one now add it up or you can do this separately if you're finding this too difficult do it separately and then add this separately it's up to you i'll just do it all together now see now if i just do this so this is the answer for 4 by 3 over here then i need to even do this but i'll just do all together plus definite integral it's alpha x squared minus when there are more than one terms it's best to use the brackets all the time so close the bracket sorry this is the one and now the limit is from 1 to 2 be careful with the limits you have to change the limits the answer is 4 so the final answer is 4 units please have the basic few points to remember in this problems please have the basic understanding of the function how the function is and then look at always the limits whichever they have given you and look at the points of intersection it's only two steps the important steps understanding the graph the understanding of graph is to know which is the upper function and the lower function points of intersection is most crucial and then this in case in case over here the limits were not given then you had to integrate this from minus one to positive one that's it and which is the upper function see like this which will be the upper function this one is the upper and this one is the lower that's it it's very simple like the previous problem which we did in the same video but this is a special type they have given a separate limit so that's why we did this method we will solve the next problem here all the problems are similar so i would request you to be thorough with the first type of problem in the last video where we solved two problems be thorough with it once you understand the main concept the similar concept is applied in all the problems say so over here uh, you have been given two equations but cos that is a trigonometry function is given and y is equal to x squared even before anything you must remember the basics of the graph now if i have this axis you might remember cos always starts from one isn't it it starts like this and it goes on like a uh, like a wave and even it continues the same thing behind like this it keeps on going what about this y equals x square it is a parabola opening upward so it's something like this sorry it should touch over here now there is no coefficient no constants nothing so it's this okay so now this is the graph how would you solve you should know the upper function lower function and just what we had learned in the previous problem the same thing will be applied it's very simple so now over here with the basic knowledge i've just drawn over here see only this part is into consideration why because you will find the points of intersection and that is it you don't want any other points see this point of intersection and this point of intersection that's it this the this is the area which you want right so all you're doing is step one sketch the graph and understand them and step two is find the points of intersection how do you find the points of intersection that is by equating these both graphs equate these both graph that is cos x uh, equal to x square now there are different ways you can do other approximation methods as well to solve this but we will stick to the calculator method which is very easy now over here all you need to do is directly cos alpha x close the bracket minus alpha x square remember one important thing if i press equal to a shift and equal you shift and calc i'm not getting the correct answer this is wrong well because i'm using cos so this needs to be changed to radian mode shift mode and four now press shift and sol sorry i have not written it properly i need to make it equal to zero now press shift and solve i'm getting 0 0.8241 now over here you sometimes you can even solve the other way around that is this equal to can be over here and shift and solve you'll get the same answer i'll show you uh 
uh, what I mean is just this equation as it is equal to okay shift and solve that's the same answer okay now over here you must remember one thing you're having two points of intersection but you know parabola and cos over here it's symmetrical right if this is point one then this is minus one if this is two then over here you'll have minus two so now we have one point of intersection as 0 0.8 then one more will be minus 0 0.8 so this will be negative as well. So you will have two points that is 0 0.824 over here and minus 0 0.824 because the square is there and also you can see it from the graph. Now once you know, very simple what we have done already that is integrated from these limits. The lower limit is negative number, the higher limit is the upper number. So integrate from minus 0 0.824 to a positive 0 0.824. What is the upper function? This is the cos graph minus the parabola x squared. See, x squared is down, cos graph is up. So the answer is A is equal to 1.09475 units. You can approximate it and write 1.09 or depends on the options. Similarly, over here we have one more problem. Same like what we just now did, but the only thing over here is we have three graphs, I mean three functions. Now you can see find the area bounded by graphs of y equals x squared, y equals 2 minus x and y equals 0. So what happens you, if you graph them? Now let's think of basic graph. y is equal to 0 is a straight line. That's very easy. y equals x squared. That means imagine this is the x-axis. It's something like this and it goes up like this and 2 minus x. That means 1, 2, if this is the second line, then we will have a line something like this. So now what are the points of intersection? This is 1, 2, 3. So you will have one point of intersection over here, over here, and this over here. There are three points of intersections. So let us see now. Let's solve this. Sketch the graphs. See, whatever I just now drew this part is only considered okay i did the entire graphs this is rough sketches it's not accurate now over here uh if we get these three parts this this and this these are the three uh equations y equals zero means just a straight line over here now we should we should see which is the upper function and lower function but look carefully is the upper function upper itself all the time no only until over here so this is similar to the last video which we saw a problem where the function changed over here the functions are not changing the below function is same but i mean you're not swapping the functions but you have three different functions so what happens is initially see you need to solve this as a1 see this area and then add the second area this is what we did before as well so solve this Two functions upper function minus lower function separately and then upper function and lower function <clears throat> sorry so this is how we can easily solve it now over here find the points of intersection now obviously you know we have to equate these equations together x squared equal to 2 minus uh, x so y are all equal right so this equals this solve it you can solve it in calculator you will get the answer now I'll, I'll come to this in a minute but solve the other one as well over here x squared equals to 0 now you'll get this answer and 2 minus x is equal to 0 you'll get this answer now from here you can understand one thing this point okay this point and this point is the limit okay in this graph you must understand because only these three points are there okay what if wherever it makes at the you know x axis see this is the limit you can't extend it beyond zero can you no because we are dealing with this graph okay so can you consider this minus two see what happens is this goes on and this line even intersects somewhere over here but you're not interested in that point you're just interested within the zero to two point that is only positive one so that's why we are discarding this okay that point of intersection is not considered only x equals one is considered then zero and two now what 
just substitute the uh, values in the formula and solve. We have done this already from 0 to 1. See, from 0 to 1, the upper function is x squared minus 0. And from 1 to 2, the upper function is 2 minus x minus 0. You can use the formula or directly put this in calculator and solve it. And this will be your answer. Now we move on to the second objective of the lesson. That is area between curves with y as variable. Now if you look over here, what is the difference? In the last problems, until last video, we solved many problems. Imagine this is the function. These are the two functions. Area between them. We easily found out by the formula, upper function minus lower function, but it was given as y equals f of x and y equals g of x. But now, look over here. We are finding the area between them, but it is x equals f of y and x equals g of y. The variable, the changing part is y over here. So this is the function. I would ask you to pause the video and think about the formula which we will use now. You can try pausing the video now. I will continue. I hope some of you at least thought about a formula. The integral, the area between them, same like the previous one, which would be the first function is the right side function. That's it. So now you can see the area between the two curves, x is equal to f of y and x is equal to g of y. For the limit, limit must be given, c to d over here is from integral, definite integral c to d, f of y minus g of y. It is the right function minus the left function, that's it. Okay, so over here, I'm sorry, this must be c, c to d, and this is again c to d, it depends, it just depends, the, the values will be given. Lower limit, if we have, say, limit from minus 2 to 5, minus 2 will be over here, and 5 will be up above. They're the definite integrals. Let's solve some problems based on this. The area of the region bounded by the function of y. See, this is done in the previous video. If you pause and go back to the last video in continuity, the previous one to this video, you can see we solved the same problem. And see, look, we had, uh, we had sketched the graph and everything, the same thing, the same graph. But now we will solve it with respect to y. Why do we do this? Look carefully. If we consider with respect to y, we have a right function and a left function. We don't need to write a big interval and again plus definite integral, no need of two. Why? Because this is the right function and this is the left function. That is it. Easily we can solve it up. Don't you agree? But if you're doing with respect to x, then you need to cut it over here because this one is first area, this is second area. The functions are different. But if you see like this, now see over here, the upper right function, left function. So this is why we use it. Now, if in case this was something like this, then it's fine. Upper function minus lower function. Okay. But now it's not the case. It's a little different case. So we have to first rearrange these given functions y equals x square right everything rearrange and get it in terms of what x so over here you are not using this why because we are just in using in terms of a y, y as the function so x is equal to square root y how do you do this take square root on both the sides that's it and over here just take this x to the other side make it positive and y to the other side it becomes 2 minus y how do you find the points of intersection it's the same thing, just equate the these two terms. Now, x and x is equal, so it'll be square root y equals 2 minus y. Now, you can solve this by quadratic equation, square both the sides, or it'll be y equals 2 minus y square. Now, how do I get this? It's very simple. It is a minus b, the whole square formula. I hope you remember this. It is a square minus 2 times a b plus b square. So now over here we have a as 2 and b as y. So a square that is 4, 2 square is 4 minus 2 into 2 is 4 into y, 4y. Okay, 2 into 2 into y. 
that is 4y plus b square that is y square and left side we have y take this y to the other side it becomes minus y minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5y now put this in calculator and you'll get the answers we have done similar problem before here important thing what is the limit the limit over here see this is the function right from now this from year to year the uh, i mean definite integral is from year to year but can you consider this four y is equal to one okay this is the point of intersection but what can you consider about this no because this will exceed right it goes up so you disregard that point you only consider the point one up till one and because y4 is beyond the limit that's the reason okay now the step four will be substituting the limit in the formula and solving we know uh, it can be taken as a d b d anything it's fine just that you should know what it means the lower limit over here is zero see this is the base zero this is starts at zero where does it end at one this is the point so zero to one and what are the functions the right side function is 2 minus y minus square root y put it in the calculator and directly you'll get the answer and now you can check the answer with the previous video it's the same answer so that is the thing one thing to remember when it is y variable the limits from year to year okay this is the limit when it was x remember it was like this in the last problem but we had to split it because it's two separate function 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 so this is how we can easily solve it we will do one more problem over here we have it there are two graphs and now we need to uh, understand the basics of the graph y squared is an upward parabola minus y means downward parabola so when you sketch the graph it will be something like this oh i'm i'm very sorry i told upward and downward it would have been upward and downward if it was y is equal to x squared and y is equal to minus x squared but this is about x and x and x is equal to y square sorry now the variable is the y so what happens here you must remember whenever it's positive it opens to the right side okay whenever it is positive it opens to the right side whenever it's minus is there it will be opening to the left side that's it so now this is how you understand and now if you equate you do not even need this graph because you know it's going to touch at these two points so equate them find these two points and use the limit so what you do is this is just for understanding now which is the right graph that is 2 minus y squared left graph is y squared points of intersection equate these both y squared equals 2 minus y squared take the uh, y, squ y squared to the other side it will be y squared plus y squared 2y squared equals 2 y squared is plus or minus 1 you can easily solve divide both the sides by 2 and you'll get y equals plus and minus 1 so this is minus 1 this is plus 1 now uh, substitute this in the formula and solve how do we do that over here the limits 1 minus 1 to 1 sorry see remember it's minus 1 to 1 and the right side function is 2 minus y squared minus the left function is y squared put it in calculator that said you will get the answer so this is how we can solve and that is basically the end of this lesson so there are only two this same type of problems you know but there are two topics one is with x as the variable and next one was y as the variable i hope you have understood it please go back to the videos watch it again if you have doubts or if you have not understood it if you have any other doubts even after watching just do write them in the comment and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible all the best guys